We close on our house the first week of May, but we don't get keys to move in until July 1st because the current owners have small ones and they want them to finish off the school year. And because we're renovating the house, we hear that it's a lot better to renovate before you move in. So that may push the move-in date back even further. Now, the current house we're in, the lease ends the end of May. And what that means is that we have to figure out what we're gonna do for June and July because we reached out to our property manager and they said they don't do month to month. They'll only allow us to sign a three month lease and with that, there's a 20% upcharge. So we'd be paying over $3,000 a month. Ridiculous, depending on where you're at, obviously. For us, that's ridiculous. So my entire family lives in Arizona and every summer we go home to visit family. So I told Josh, how about we just make a whole vacation out of it? Move all of our stuff into a pod the end of May, take what we need to Arizona and just stay there until our house is done being renovated. Like obviously we have to be back in the house before the kids start school in August. Our travel plans are a little bit all over the place in terms of what we're doing when it comes to driving there or flying. I know driving sounds really crazy, but renting a car for two months is super expensive. And Josh may be purchasing a vehicle in Arizona, so he may fly there with the kids and then we all drive back together. Anyway, if you guys have any recommendations on where to stop between Tampa, Florida and Phoenix, Arizona, please let me know because we definitely will be driving at least one way, maybe two. Again, we're playing with plans, but we also may end up flying with our Aussie and our Aussie is 45 pounds. So if you guys know what it's like to fly with a dog, please let me know. He is way too anxious to be put in the undercarriage and I'm thinking that's the only option, which means we'll probably end up driving with him both ways. I just can't do that to him. Also, if you've ever used pod, let me know your experience. We're literally gonna put all of our stuff into it and store it in there until we're ready to move into our new house. So they're probably gonna keep our stuff for two months. And then we'll just have necessities on us and kind of travel around Arizona and hopefully hit up all the four corners.